Today, Kevin and I are going to be opening a Pachanga box. This is December's Pachanga box. It was sent to us free. Hopefully, you have watched the previous two videos that we've done from Pachanga box. These, it's a food subscription box and they fill them. They fill them up. Uh, you can, if you sign up for it, you can cancel anytime. Um, you can get a box and then not get any more if you want. So, I have opened this up because I needed to take a picture of everything in here. Before we go in there and open it up. Before I open it up and ruin it. Exactly. So, I know what the theme is this month. Yeah, it, but, but that's the deal. They do a different theme of a different country every month. Yes, so this is Peru. So, I thought this was cool. Uh, this uh, is a, uh, they wrote my name by hand. Thanks, uh, dear Tammy, welcome to the Pajanga Box family. We're thrilled to have you in our community of explorers. Your subscription is very important to us and it motivates us to keep surprising and delighting our customers. Thank you for choosing us for your adventure and discovery of new tastes and cultures. We're dedicated to making your Pajanga Box journey enjoyable and satisfying. Um, if you need anything, they're telling you to contact customer service or uh, the Pachanga Box on Instagram. We always want to improve and make you happy. We hope you love your Pachanga Box. And I do have to say that they, every single month, have improved things a little bit more and more because it, at first, I'm thinking like the first month, they didn't have pictures on the website maybe or they didn't have descriptions. They have upped their game every single month. So I'm very happy about that. So I got a little sticker that says Peru and I love Peru. the sloth. <laughs> Adorable. So I did take everything out of this box and I put it back. It is not back in there the way they did it, trust me. But what I'm gonna do is each month they give you a code to, uh, to scan and you scan it with your phone. And um, so I'm going to depend on that code completely. I've done no homework this time. Uh, normally I go through each item. Uh, these are cookies. Normally I go through each item and I like write down my own description and everything. I didn't do that this time. I'm gonna go by what they say and we'll see uh, what we have. So do you wanna? I thought you were gonna scan the list and we we're gonna go in order. Um, well, they're not in order in this box, so I didn't know if... Take it out. Okay, so you want me to just take everything out. Okay, well, let's count the items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a big bag. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Now, these are different. Fifty. 17. 17. And then these are the same. So 18, 18, but you got two. 19, but you got two. And then 20, but you got two. Yeah. So, so 20, 20 items. items. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to scan this. Yeah, and then you can move the box over. You didn't get it in time. Yeah. Oh, there we go. December 23, 2023, Pachanga Box, Peru. This month's Pachanga Box is featuring Peru. So get your hiking gear ready because we are hiking to Machu Picchu and eating some Peruvian snacks. There are quite a bit of snacks featured this month. Um, see, oh, it says this list may include snacks that are not part of your box, depending on availability. Some Pachanga Boxes have slightly different snack configurations, but don't worry, they all have the same amount of snacks. Okay. So, the first one we have is this one. This is the Triangulito. It says, ditch the boring bar and grab a Choco Peak. This ain't your average candy. It's a mountain range of pure creamy milk chocolate ready to melt in your mouth and make your taste buds do a jig. It smells good. So, so this should be milk chocolate. <laughs> It smells good. It's just, uh, you get like six pieces. Okay. I will take a picture of whatever I can. Um, whatever's left. It's shaped like a Toblerone, but it's small. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like the texture. It's mm -hmm. very creamy. Once you get it chewed up, it's creamy. It's not at first, it just kind of develops into a creamy. 
No, it's kind of a like a chalky filling at first. Almost like you're eating baking chocolate. Yes, but then once you chew it up, it does get creamy. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of Christmas chocolates, like the yeah. little Christmas chocolates, like that you would get in They're a shaped like Santa here. Claus and snow. And that's what it reminds over. me of. Yeah. It's perfectly fine chocolate. It's not luxury or rich, but it's nice milk chocolate. Yeah. Nothing yeah, wrong I with agree. that. Okay. The next one is this, this bar. One. Uh, no. Oh, that. This well, they're one. both Sublime. Oh, okay. Well, this says Sublime Duo. The Duo. Okay. And that one's just, okay. Bonbon. Bon. The Brothers to the Sublime Bonbon has dual personalities. Chocolate and white chocolate. Oh, one okay. thing holds them together, though. Delicious uh, peanut cream and milk. Oh. So, do you get peanuts all through it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so... You can take whatever. You can go take whatever. I like the peanuts. Mm-hmm. Mm. Chocolate's not bad, either. That's delicious. That's mm -hmm. made by Nestle. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No, I see that now. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. That reminds me, you know, one of those um, Mr. Goodbar. Chunky Bar. Um, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, is that made by Nestle? The that's chunky, what, I don't know. I know the Mr. Goodbar is Hershey's. But. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, that Chunky Bar. That's mm -hmm. that's what that reminds me of. I love that. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's delicious. Yeah, I mean, the chocolate's not me necessarily better necessarily than this other one but mm -hmm. but it's good it goes with the peanuts really nice. it's only 157 calories yes yeah, i like the white chocolate too it's not um super sweet but it is sweet yeah that's awesome yeah. uh the next one is this, is i want to keep that because i want to keep it separate oh, okay. because i liked it so much like that <laughs> yeah, would be is. like yeah that would be like i don't want to keep them separate at the end so when you say how many we liked this one is the sublime so same brand nestle bonbon Unlike its duo sibling, the bonbon like to keep it simple. Just a delicious milk chocolate stuffed with peanuts. So this one doesn't have the white chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better look at it now. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You just get that nice um, chocolate and the peanut flavor. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know what though? I like, I, I would not put that one in favorites. Okay. I like it. It's not as good as the white. It would be like, yes, I don't hate it. I haven't hated anything, but it's not as good as the duo. Yeah. So if you I can agree. get your hands on a sublime duo mm -hmm. um, or get a pajanga box, then that would be the way to do it. That one even to me came across as a, a hint of cinnamon. Oh, I didn't get that. And I don't know why. No. Okay, these. The cookies. Uh, it says, forget the Oreos. Relanitas stuffed to the gills with frosty minty goodness. One bite and you'll be twirling with the polar bears. <laughs> so, Relanitas. So, these are mint chocolate. Sometimes these are just kind of. <laughs> and we may have had this brand before. It would not surprise me. Right. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. The mint's not as strong as it smells, but I do like it. No, because if you go by the smell, you think, oh, I'm gonna taste toothpaste. Mm -hmm. But it's really no, just a nice mint. It's a nice mint. It's not like overpowering or too strong. It's a nice, and the cookies are very soft. I like the cookies. Not yeah. soft, but they're light, but the lighter crunch. They're, they're softer they're than hard. Oreo. Yeah. Because Oreos are very, very mm -hmm. crunchy, very kind of hard. They're a soft crunch. Mm hmm That is nice. It's a nice cookies. It's yeah. a nice combination of mint and chocolate. Yeah, those are nice. Okay. Yellow. The next one is the. Princess? Or yes. Princia? Princia. Princessa. A princessa? It's a C E S A. Prince. Uh, Prince. Uh. P R I N C E S A. Prince. Uh, Prince. Uh. I don't know who knows. We're not Peru. I want to see that. P R I N C E S A. S -A. Prince. Uh. Yeah. Okay. 
A snack for royalty. Princessa is a chocolate filled with peanut cream. That sounds wonderful. Who knew Peru had all this? Hmm. Ooh, okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. It's a layer. It's not like a... It's not like a filling. It's more just a layer. Mm. I'm getting the, the peanut butter now. Mm -hmm. More peanut than peanut butter, but, but I didn't get it at first. That, it's not bad. Mm. Um, Very creamy texture-wise. Yeah, but you really don't get peanut. No, I it's not strong. Think. It's very I light. I think mainly in that you get um, the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I, I really, really don't did get the peanut butter. It came. I got a little bit of it. I got, it came through after I a got while, very, but very, very, very little. little. It's not that I don't like it. I just didn't get a lot of peanut butter. No, but I, I tell you what, that. I think that's a cool thing to try that we don't have here. What a peanut? The peanut yeah. cream with that. Yeah, that's good. I wish it just had a peanut flavor. Um, these are the Picaras. Forget boring circles. Picaras pack a punch of Peruvian joy. These ain't your average cookies. They're crispy oh. clouds dipped in chocolate sunshine. One bite and you'll be breaking out the salsa because happiness is definitely around. It's like a fudge, uh, fudge a drop. A fudge drop. So it's like a chocolate chip cookie. It's thicker too. Mm -hmm. It's very different than a fudge stripe. Oh yeah. I like the flavor though. That, that's actually a really nice cookie. It's thicker and it has like, um, it's thicker than even like a shortbread text, um, thickness, but it has like little pieces of like, like chocolate chips, like chocolate chips in there. Yeah, it's got mm -hmm. a code in here too. Huh? It's got a code. A code? Uh huh. 6Y Q Q Q X X M. Wonder what that means. I don't know. Maybe you just won a million dollars. It's a secret me, code on the inside. I just gave you a million dollars. Is maybe. it for a competition? No, it doesn't always say. Oh, right right there. It's in a different language. So yeah, I and I don't want to do it on my phone because no. I mess up my list. Well, I just gave you the code, so if you want to go enter it, go for it. If you, yeah, if you know about that. If you want a million dollars, send me a little bit of it. Um, truly, um, those, it's fun to try, but it does end on a little bit. It has a bite. It has a, um, See? yes, it has a, a bit of a bite. It has a bit of a dark Like a darker chocolate. chocolate. Yes. Yeah. yes, so I don't think... I don't think if those were sold here, they would be like they would outsell fudge stripes because no, fudge stripes they're not are, sweet enough. Yeah, exactly. People would still prefer fudge stripes because they're sweeter. And ole, these are the ole, 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 ole. Ole. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Uh, don't worry, there is no bullfighting with this ole. Just some delicious vanilla marshmallows covered with chocolates to fight it out with. If you want a whole one, you can have a whole one. I'll flat right there. You can split it if you, or open it up if you want. Mm. I like the marshmallow. It reminds you a lot. You know the Russell Stover's like chocolate covered marshmallows? It reminds you of that flavor, but they're, the Russell Stover's are a little tougher. This is much fluffier. I think those have a stronger marshmallow flavor. Uh, that Maybe marshmallow a bit, flavor, yeah. it really, really came through. Yeah. So and like, the Russell Stover's are tough too. Those marshmallows yes. are kind of tough. Actually, I where's yeah. the paper for that? You, right you, okay, I'm gonna put that in favorites. Yeah, oh, that's not the paper. That's actually. The paper. I really like that. Yep. I love it's that really marshmallow well. flavor. Okay, Inca's food. I love these. Uh, these are um, the big corn. Mott Frito Salado. The name says it all. If you, <laughs> that, I swear it salted says white that. hominy corn. I was gonna say if you can say it, then the, uh, these salted white hominy corn snacks will take you straight to the heights of Machu Picchu. Actually voted as one of the new seven wonders of the world. Oh, they're very, very almost hard. They're more. Corny. Mm -hmm. I don't think you <laughs> it's if, a little plain. If you pick one up, well, it does have salt though. Mm -hmm. 
And it says salted. Those are good, but... You like the ones at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's are a lot better. Yeah. And the ones you get in... Um, no, Trader Joe's is at the big ones. Mm -hmm. um, you always like those. Those are really good. These are good. They're just more plain. I, if I ate a whole bag of those, it's fine. But first of all, it's going to take you 10 years to eat the whole bag. Yeah. Um, I mean, like corn nuts are better. I honestly. would worry about my teeth. Very because they're hard. so hard. Mm -hmm. If I eat a piece of ice. I do like the salt, though. And I do like that uh, corny flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. The only problem is the corn flavor is not like as good as the Trader, the Trader Joe's. Joe's or... Um, Corn nuts. Corn nuts are better too. Right. No, I. Your corn nuts are very similar to this. These are called margarita. This margarita won't make you dance like nobody is watching, or will it? <laughs> but it is one of Peru's most popular cookies. Forget boring squares. This cookie's a sunshine-shaped <coughs> fiesta. In Peru, kids and grown-ups gobble these up like confetti at a party. It's a classic biscuit with a sweet vanilla smile and a crispy feel-good crunch. Doesn't need fancy fillings, just pure delicious fun. Mm. Looks like a sunflower. Mm hmm. It's a sunshade. Now, to me, that reminds me a lot of like animal crackers, vanilla wafers. It's not as strong of vanilla as vanilla. More it of an reminds me of an animal cracker. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like this is your classic Barnum's. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Barnum's Animal Crackers, the, the ones that look like the circus um, yeah. train and the red little circus yeah. thing. That's what it's that tastes exactly like. Exactly the same texture and everything. Same exact thing, except it's in a shape of a sunflower. Mm -hmm. That's cool that Peru has the same thing, just in different shapes. Yeah. And they're oh. popular. So All right. They're good. They're just kind of plain. So now we have maize atomico. Oh, yeah, they put that big bag in that box. Maize atomico probably won't give you. Atomic induced superpowers, but it will give you something super. Maize Atomico is a caramel inflated corn infused with oh, okay. maca rouge, a superfood, otherwise known as Peruvian ginseng. This kind of looks like um, uh, honey smacks. When, uh, oh, well, like syrup. Yeah, it yeah. is with the frogs. Sugar smacks, right? That's different. Was not expected. It's like that cereal. It's like a pack of peanut. Yeah, but it's like that. It is like that frog cereal. That sugar, sugar smacks. smacks. Or honey smacks, whatever they are nowadays. That is what that's like. Except these are bigger. These are bigger and they're they're smooshier, like uh, like foam. You know what though? As weird as it sounds, mm -hmm. I can eat a lot of those. I don't like those. They taste kind of burnt. They do have a kind of burnt. They have a burnt flavor to yeah, them. I don't like that. Uh, but that that cereal. Every time I eat that cereal, I'm like. You know, it's not my favorite cereal, but I just keep eating the darn stuff. It kind of has a burnt. It's different. It kind of has a burnt flavor. Yes, too. it does. Like a malty almost. Flavor. It, this is what this is. It's I not think, bad. It's I just, think that so, the texture is too soft and chewy for me. Ah, uh, okay. These are lentejas. Lentejas. You're, you're yeah. You, lentejas. Okay, they're by <laughs> Nestle. I don't know. Nestle. <laughs> They're Nestle. Little, little uh, candies. Delicious chocolate covered with caramel coating. Basically, M&M's cooler foreign cousin. <laughs> oh, okay. So it says chocolate covered with caramel coating. I'm assuming they're all the same. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> there went that tooth. <laughs> they're really not that hard, but boy, it's out of them. Compared to an M&M, oh, that, yeah. that is hard. Yeah. Oh, I do though. I do too. There's, they're kind of crumbly. They're um, like, uh, like gritty almost. M&M's have a very uh, distinct chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. This, um, I can see where they'd be a cousin. Yeah. yeah. They could be in the same family. But the inside doesn't taste like chocolate. It's more like a, a gritty kind of sugary kind of texture. It's not smooth like a chocolate. But it is hard. Mm -hmm. But it's, they're okay. Okay, now we have the Field brand. Crackers? Savor a vanilla. vanilla. Crunch, crunch, crunch. This sweet vanilla, these sweet vanilla cookies are hard to stop eating after getting a little taste of the crispiness. Mm -hmm. So vanilla cookies. 
on these are like they the, look uh, like crackers yeah they do they look like animal crackers as well oh. or granola uh graham crackers i think they look more like animal crackers than the other ones did but the other ones taste like animal crackers these are i think even plainer oh. pretty, it's got a little bit i was of gonna say no i'm getting it now mm -hmm. I think this has more of that pasty um, circus crackers than our animal crackers. I think this has more of the same texture mm -hmm. than than the other ones do. I think this tastes more baked. So like very, it, very baked. so like it bakes like longer. <laughs> uh, like it's not burnt, but it tastes like it just baked longer, and yeah. you can taste that flavor. Yeah, compared to the that's what that ones. tastes like. I, so out of the two, which would you rather margarita have? Margarita ones. I, I like the margarita ones yeah. better too. It'd be interesting if either one, if any of you all had tried those, and uh, you could tell us which one you like better. Yeah. Okay. Now we have the. The sucker was next on the list. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait on the sucker. Yeah. There's one sucker in here. Yeah. Uh, now we have the Tom. Chomp. Deja. Narja. I don't have a clue. It, it says chomp your way. Through this orange flavored cookie. It says chomp on the front. Okay. Uh, one of my personal favorites. Okay. Try dipping them in milk for extra points. So this is just a cookie too. I like the texture on it. Lots of cookies this month. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they're not sandwich cookies. They're just. But you cookies. know what? At Christmas, I wonder. Like that made me think of it. Like if they do, uh, like this is just regular snacks from Peru. You can tell. But I wonder if they would ever do a seasonal. seasonal. Like, okay, next December, it's going to be this country. They probably wouldn't be able to get enough. Though. They probably wouldn't, I know. But They'd that would be do, cool. They would have to get seasonal stuff from a bunch of different places instead of just one. I think. I like the orange flower. That's nice. It has a nice orange flower. Mm -hmm. I forgot it was supposed to be orange, and mm -hmm. I thought, oh, that tastes like orange. Yeah, no, it's orange. No, I'm wondering, there's another orange that tastes just like that. I'm there trying is. to think of what um, it is. No, no, there is a candy that tastes like that. Mm-hmm. It's not really candy. I think it's also It's a cookie. a cookie. There's another orange cookie that tastes just like mm -hmm. that. Maybe a, it would be a Bortman or something like that, a wafer cookie. No. I'm wondering if it's not some of those uh, shortbread cookies that they flavored with orange. Could be. That's yeah. what, that's yeah. real. What was that one? Chomp. Oh, I really like that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have this? um Coco oh. Rocos. It's a little bitty, little Jeez. teeny. Mm -hmm. Coco Rocos. If you like pears, then this snack is for you. A hard candy infused with pear flavor. Huh. You have to get your own. <laughs> pears. Oh. Our, oh. Oh, oh, it is a hard candy. You comment on the hardness of those corn, I mean, the, mm -hmm. and then you crunch candy. Ooh, I love that. Up. I love that. No, that's actually. Mm, that'll go in favor of Mm-hmm. Very sweet. If you don't chew it, it'll last a while. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, no, it, it, that has a banana flavor. I'm glad you got that. Well, I'm getting a little bit of a banana. It because I actually get more banana than whatever they said it. Was. I agree. They called it pear. It really does taste more like banana, and I'm glad you said mm -hmm. that. We've had another banana, mm. uh, banana good, flavored candy hard candy that's just like this and it's not a runt mm -hmm. or but it's something it's a hard candy but it, this isn't delicious. a strong artificial flavor it's like a run no mm -hmm. no that that is absolutely delicious mm -hmm. i would eat that all the time it's got a cancer 30 or something okay oh now mine mine's gone i didn't want to break my teeth out okay now we have oh, the gosh. chalk man this is chalk man <clears throat> chalk man double Man jar. Yeah, you ruined it when you got to that part, didn't you? Chalk man <laughs> man jar. It's uh, uh it's uh, Costa. 
It's Peruvian sponge cake dipped oh. in chocolate and filled with double milk based sweet. Oh, wow. That's a thick one. It smells one. like alcohol. Oh, it does. Ooh, you know what that smells like? One of those Milka tender that I love from oh, Germany. That, that's what that smells like. It smells like a Milka yeah, I could tender. Do yeah, I love those things. Mm. It has a little bit of like an alcohol flavor. Mm -hmm. Not like raw alcohol, but like a, the aftertaste you would have after drinking like a, a really nice bourbon. Mm -hmm. That's a very nice snack cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would think that would be on par with like mm -hmm. Little Debbie or something like that. That's mm -hmm. what you would buy these to snack And what did that look like, this one? Uh-huh. Yeah, keep that one in favor. Yeah, that, that's it's really, really, really nice. Um, yeah, if they didn't... if. If I didn't know any better, I would think that had some kind of alcohol in it. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It's delicious. It, it's a go. very, very fresh. Mm -hmm. There's nothing uh, hard or anything about it. Um, I, now, I see, I think Americans would like that one. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. Okay. Now you this. Now we have the, the first word of the scared me. Crickets. It said crickets. That's just the name of the brand. Maybe. Crickets. Uh, Peru is renowned for its ceviche. Oh, so these we, are plantain chips. So. Yeah. You're safe. They're not made out of crickets. <laughs> Peru is renowned for its ceviche, so we had to include some ceviche flavored banana chips. Check out this recipe we posted to make your own ceviche. So they, they uh, if I clicked on it, I don't want to mess up my list here, but you can click the link. Very thin. Hmm. That's no problem. First of all, it tastes more like a potato chip than a, like a banana. Don't they? They have mm -hmm. almost a potato flavor. I wonder how high in calorie those are, because those are delicious. I could eat like a lot of these. Um, the texture. One cup, what does that say, 20, 30 grams? Mm -hmm. is 170. And there's five servings in the bag. Yeah, so that's probably about what you'd get for potato chips or whatever. Probably. That's I really would, nice. I like this. I was seasoning. hoping that they would be uh, healthier, <laughs> but I don't think they are. Mm -hmm. um, they're absolutely delicious. It tastes like, um, kind of like a, to me, like a salsa that you would dip your tortilla chips yeah, in. Yeah, they're not that peppery though. No, they're not. It's not a spicy. I it's guess not, salty. But it's kind of like that um, that creamy onion. Um, mm -hmm. I really like that. Yeah, I just, those those are. I would put those in favor. I would see my picture of the hell in there. It looks kind of like a lime. It looks like lime, but it doesn't taste like lime. Mm -hmm. No, those are really nice. And like I said, they kind of remind you of a potato chip, but they don't. Um, they're not quite as crunchy or hard as a potato chip. They're more of a softer crunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those, I love those. Those are really good. Okay, now we have the casino. Oh. This is the casino last thing loose. It just loose. says casino on here. Oh. Something. Luca Magic? Luca, okay. You hit the jackpot with this Lacuma filled cookie. Lacuma yeah, is for. a rich and sweet fruit native to the Andine Valley that passed through Peru. It smells like caramel. It looks like cheese. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. That's really I like good. That. That's nice. I do too. It's a subtle flavor, mm -hmm. but it's nice and sweet. And it's not like a sharp or... Yeah, it's very, it's just a light, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that better than any of those other cookies we've had. Oh, too, but it also has a filling. No so they there. said their favorite is that chomp, that orange one. Mm -hmm. This would be yours. This one's my, I like this one more than I the did chomp. Too. I did, I was going to say the chomp, but no, this no, one's better. This is better. I think that one's better than the chomp. Okay, then we have these. We only have two more things. And the sucker. Seven Bello Frambosia Chewy Delight with Raspberry Flavor. Well, it's a seven, a card. Seven of clubs or diamonds? Seven of diamonds. Uh-huh. 
Oh, okay. I wonder if I can bite this in half. That sounded bad. Kind of like a nail lighter. Kind of tough, but it's still. What's that? That's one of the last ones. That we went. Oh, that's a princea. Just a smaller one. Oh. What did the other one look like? It was just big. Huh. Huh. So it's the one, you should open that to see if it looks the same. I like the flavor of that. What flavor is it supposed to be? What? These are raspberry. I don't know if I would identify as raspberry. It tastes like taffy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, we got another one of these. Chewy Delight with raspberry flavor. Oh, really I good. like it a lot. It is, um, it's not a, um, like a Starburst. No. It's, it's tougher than a Starburst. No, it's kind of like a 7, um, um, not 7-Eleven. <laughs> no. Um, an Alator, like I said, it's kind of like an Alator. Yeah, an it's more like an Alator, yeah. This but it doesn't like... have a, a sharp raspberry flavor. Uh, but it's very, very sweet. I thought that was really good. That looks just like the other one, except it's Okay, thicker. this is the one that's filled with the peanut butter cream, but, but it really didn't have a peanut butter flavor to it. Do you want so it? it's just, no, I wanted to make sure it was the same no, thing. No, it's the exact, so it's just a little bit thicker. So you get a full thicker. size bar and a So technically one. you got 19 items instead of 20, because we okay. got two of those really. So this one is a Chupetin Colorado. Hard candy lollipop filled with tutti fruity flavor chewing gum. A oh. classic that transcends borders. Hey, don't do that sucker papers. Sucker papers are a pain in the butt. This is a pink. Well, you're not going to keep this one in the favorites. I'm tearing it all to pieces. Oh, there, I clicked on the ceviche that they were making from this. And it hasn't loaded it up yet. It's still loading it up. Okay, so what does this taste like? Pink. Oh, Kevin. No, it's a tutti fruity. It's kind of kind of tastes like that. Hmm. It's just very sweet. It just reminds you of, um, it does kind of remind you of a tutti frutti kind of, I don't know, do you want to? Well, there was something in the middle of it. Gum. I'm not going to bite it to get to the gum. Though. Oh. I, I probably won't either because it's too big. We're sharing a sucker. Just get over it. <laughs> That's a VJ. It says it's a dish of marinated raw fish. It doesn't taste like that. Those do not taste anything no. like that. No, they're not. Fishy. These taste nothing like raw fish mm. at all. No, it doesn't taste very good after eating that sweet sucker. But. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. That is really good. It's very sweet. It's got a lot of flavor. Mm-hmm. It has a little bit of an orange, but orange with lemon is what it tastes yeah, like. That's what I'm saying. They said tutti frutti gum. Um, I could say that the whole thing. Yeah, tastes like it tastes fruit. like orange and lemon. It tastes like a bunch of flavors. I like that. Well, my favorites were these. So if anybody's been to Peru, if anybody's tried Peruvian snacks, I would love to hear your opinions on these. I love these. The Casino. Oh, those love those. Nice uh, the Ole Ole. We yeah. love those with the marshmallow. I like the Seven um, Bellow too. The, uh, which, no, which that one? That was that chewy. Oh, the raspberry. raspberry. That, that was good. really good. This one was the one that was supposed to be pear, but it tasted like banana. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the, the, this is like snack that cake. milk tender, the snack cake. It's a really lot good. like that. Not the same, but it, it would remind you of that. Well and then this oh, one, was was the, the sublime, the sublime the, with the duo, the yeah. white and the milk chocolate. Yeah, it was really good. Um, everything in here was good. There wasn't anything really bad in any of these. No, honestly. because sometimes there's things that like, like if this had have tasted like fish, I would have been like, oh my gosh, no, never again. Um, the worst thing here for me were, the, were these puffed up corn things. Really? I just did not like the texture. They taste like I'm eating styrofoam. 
I think the worst things for me were those, uh, this one. The corn. And it's not because of the flavor, it's, it's just because so it's so plain. hard. And very, very plain. It was hard. It was, it was so hard for me. It's like, I don't want to eat a bunch of that. And, and I can just imagine my teeth breaking down from eating a bunch of that. You know, because it's like you're uh, chewing on a rock. Yeah. I, oh, I know. You have a, no, I, I totally understand. But I'm eating one piece of candy and it's gone. That's right. This over is a and over again. whole bunch. Yeah, I agree. It's a I big agree that. It's a repetitive process. Yes, it's a big difference. And and I can just imagine your teeth in the back <laughs> going down smaller and smaller. A little small um, cracks developing into big cracks. <laughs> this um, was so much fun. Yeah, let's get a bunch of I fun. love this pachanga box because I love being able to scan that with my phone. Yeah, it's gotten a lot better than it used to be. And That's how it should be. Yes, I loved it. I love being able to, there was a picture, yeah. there was a, a description, description a little story. And, and it was an upbeat description, yeah. you know, it I wasn't agree. just like blah, 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 but it was an upbeat description. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think this was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I know so, it takes them a lot longer to do that, but it makes it so much better experience. Yes. So and the end user's experience. Yes, it's awesome. So I've said this before, and I mean it, I really do. If you have a foodie in your life, if you have somebody that loves to try new food, um, and this is something that, you know, people don't like to splurge on themselves. But this is something that you could gift to them and imagine the fun they would have mm -hmm. with this. Or as a family, imagine if we had had this when Andrew and Ashley were growing up. Oh, yeah. If we Nine could have gotten things. one of these in a month and had like our family, like we had family game nights all the time. Imagine if you took one of those Saturday nights and instead of playing a game, you open your pachanga box and you're all trying all this food and you could fun. make fun of people making faces because you know some people are going to make faces and hate stuff and some people are going to love stuff. But I think it's a you lot of fun. You just can't share the suckers. So. Can't share the suckers, but there's plenty one, here to share. Oh yeah, one person can fight over the suckers. Yeah, there's, there is plenty here to share to where, you know who would have gotten this? The pug. Yeah. <laughs> we well, have, or you could take a uh, hammer. Uh, you could take a hammer and you tap could. it and break it in you pieces. Could. But Guido sure did like he loved the He loved and the popsicles. Suckers. Yeah, he sure did. Uh, but thank you to Pajanga Box. We greatly appreciate this. I am going to put a link uh, to their website uh, right below this video in the description. Please go check them out. If you do, we won't know about it. We, we don't, don't get anything, anything for it. It's the free box. We're getting the free box. We're getting to experience this, which I think I'm fine with because I greatly appreciate this. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.